This tree is a Japanese maple, also known as Acer palmatum. I think it's about 10 to maybe 15 years old. And in this movie, we are going to style it, which means we're going to prune some of the branches and do a bit of wiring to set the branches in position. As you can see, the trunk is long and quite straight. We will cut off about half the length of the trunk and then create a new apex. This new apex will need a few years to develop. So today's styling is just one step in the process. It's uh, fall right now, so uh, it's not a good time to do uh, repotting as well. The, the repotting will be done in the next early spring and then maybe change it to, uh, to a bonsai pot as well. But for now, only pruning and wiring. So let's begin. This is what the tree looked like before it was styled. After pruning and wiring, this was the result. To remove the top of the tree, we use a very sharp saw. Try to make a clean, straight cut. Deciding on the design of a bonsai isn't always easy, especially when a tree is as full and overgrown as this plant. Try to apply the pruning guidelines we just mentioned to your own trees. And if you are interested to learn more about these techniques, consider enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. Here, expert teachers explain the relevant techniques and you can ask them questions. For a free lesson, go to bonsaiempire.com slash courses. All right, that was quite a drastic change. 
Um, we took off all the leaves because it's fall right now, so all the leaves will come off anyway. And right now it will make our life much easier uh, for the, the next step, which is wiring. As you can also see, like we, we took off the top, uh, but we left behind almost an inch or about two centimeters of the trunk because that will dry in over time and die off. And to make sure that the new apex uh, will continue to grow, that's, uh, that's a good and smart thing to do. So the next step is wiring and then, uh, and then we're done. So in the next early spring, uh, this tree will react to the big uh, cut that we made. Uh, by growing a lot of new shoots, a lot of new branches and especially this apex will, uh, will start to grow out a lot and that's important because this will need to thicken up over time. But let's, uh, let's continue with the wiring. As always, we try to select pairs of branches that are more or less of the same thickness and wire these with one piece of wire. Start with wiring the main branches and slowly work your way up the tree. Smaller, thinner branches need a thinner wire as well. The tree will be repotted into a relatively large bonsai pot in the next early spring. The new apex will need at least two years to develop thickness and ramification. And the same applies to the branches of the tree. It will take at least five years until the apex and branches will have developed enough to match the thickness of the trunk. Make sure to subscribe to Bonsai Empire's YouTube channel to see the progression of this tree over time. Learn how to create your own bonsai trees by enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. We explain techniques like pruning, wiring and repotting and you can ask questions to the teachers. For the curriculums and free lessons go to bonsaiempire.com courses.